Hey everyone, welcome to a quick video about how I draw simple Super Adobe Domes in SketchUp. I'm using the web version, not my desktop version, so I'm not super great at navigating this version, but I wanted to show people how to use the web one because it's free. It's an amazing program. So this is the startup screen. I'm in millimeters, I'm not in Imperial. Uh, we start up with a little lady here and um, we can start by selecting the move tool, grabbing her and pulling her out a bit. It's good to have her just for some scale. Um, the second thing we do is grab the circle tool, which is in the center of the toolbar. And here there's a few different choices and we're gonna um, highlight the circle. Now, if we click right here in the center of all the axes and then pull out along the green axis, axis and down in the bottom right hand corner, it's asking, it's telling us what the radius is that we're pulling that out. So what is the radius of this circle that we're creating? So for this demonstration, I'm gonna build a six meter dome. Um, so that's a 6,000 millimeter um, diameter and radius of that is half of that. So that's 3,000 millimeters. So I'll do 3,000 mil and hit enter and that'll draw this dome for us. If I, with my fingers on a Mac, scroll up and down, it zooms in and out. So I'm just gonna scroll out and then recenter. So <clears throat> now if I, in real life and how you build Super Adobe domes, they follow a very specific geometry, which is called a lancet arch, uh, which was pioneered at Calif and um, invented, pioneered, and um, refined by Nada Khalili and all of his crew. And that's where I went to go and learn. Um, so the very specific geometries of that relies on two compasses, one to give you the height it's called the height compass and one is the center compass which keeps the rings circular. The height compass is what we're interested in and what we're trying to really mimic in this uh, example here today. So if I uh, try, just for demonstration's sake, the height compass in real life will go from this side all the way over to that side and then it pulls up, it pulls up in an arc like that all the way to the top. Uh, all the way to the top of the dome. Please ex excuse the crudeness, but that's how it works in real life. Um, almost. This is going to be an approximation and uh, a little bit simplified, but this is uh, how it's going to work today for this example. So uh, we start down there at the ground and we pull up like that. So that is proving to us that this end, this end point here is the center point of what will become a much larger circle. So with that in mind, if we try and go here, this is a funny little trick and this is what has actually stopped me and made me really aggravated in the past trying to make these. If we pull this here, it gets stuck on the blue axis. And even if we go around, no matter how far out we go, we go to the red, it just gets stuck on, um, on that axis and that plane that we've already put one on. Um, so one way to get around that and the only way that I've found, I know that there's other ways, I'm sure there's shortcut keys, is to go to this edge, <coughs> pull up on the green so that the line goes green and then pull to the side like this. That'll then snap to this other edge and we make it about that tall. So that gives us this rectangle uh, if we go to the orbit tool here, we can zoom around and have a bit more of a look. That gives us this uh, rectangle, which is going to become the um, the plane division of our new of our two new circles that we pull out to create the dome. So, just to be nice and quick about things, I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab that, the edge, that one, and that, and then I'm going to right click and make group. So that's all a group now, so I'm going to easily be able to delete it in a moment. So I'm going to go back to the rectangle and select another circle. So now going under the side here, already 
that green circle is sticking to the axis that I want, which is great. So I'm now going to pull up and you can see that it's successfully sticking there. <clears throat> so that there is the arc that I was talking about. Again, to demonstrate in real life, this goes from one side of the dome all the way to the other and then it pulls up on here until it meets this center point. So that is how, um, in real life, these domes are created. That's the first step in it. So that's what we're trying to mimic here today. To give you a demonstration of the other side, you come to this point, you go up on the green, and then you pull over like that. So this here is our dome section. <coughs> So now I'm going to, um, this square is actually still highlighted, which is handy, but if it wasn't, I'd come, click on the group that we made out of our original rectangle and hit delete. And I'm going to click this one, delete that one, click that one, delete that one. And then also I'm going to grab my pencil tool, which is the pencil, come from this side all the way over there. Uh, you probably couldn't see it because it's hidden by the colors but uh, that drew a line from there to there which divides this bottom section from the top. I'm also going to get the pencil, put it in the center and draw a line up there. Again, it's hidden by this blue line, but that's now given us a line down there and a line down and across there. <clears throat> so I'm now going to come down, delete this bottom one, delete this bottom one, and delete one side. So now we have what looks, this is the orbit tool, with two arrows. Now we have what looks like a sailing boat, which is great. We then uh, jump in here and we go to this center one, which if you hover over something, it's going to tell you what it is. So the center one is called follow me. And that's going to be the tool that's going to print this dome, but it's really helpful if we can first get a different angle of view. So what you want to do is get it like this so that we can see this whole circle and this sail isn't in interrupting like that. It's much better if you can just see it all, but you still need to be able to access this face, which is the, uh, the, the actual sail. I'll zoom in a bit, there we go. So now I'm going to jump back, grab the follow me tool see here um, when a face gets highlighted uh, it turns into these blue dots so this here you can see that um, that sail is highlighted I'm going to click and hold and start pulling it out and follow me follows this circle so thankfully it's helping us get to the other side Ooh, it's gone a little bit crazy <laughs> That's okay. Let's control Z that and we'll give it another shot. I'll just zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> Grab that there, pull it out. If you go quite fast, it can't kind of make its mind up. I mean, it can't, um, it can't try and follow a different path. So a little bit faster is better. And then now back to the orbit tool. There we go. This is our dome now. So that is a Super Adobe Dome, um, following quite close to the exact geometry of it. But um, now to expand on that, uh, I won't go into too much more detail than this, but to expand on that, you can highlight all of this. Um, it's probably a bit better to Command A or select all, Control A um, in PCs, and then hold down Shift, click the lady, right click on that, make group, uh, which will join all of the things that we just made then together. And if we do Command C or Control C for copy and then Command V for um, for paste, we can then get these domes and stick them together. So that's two domes put together. And now I'm going to Command V again, and then um, 
click in this space so that the dome gets planted. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go and find the resize, <coughs> resize button, which is always hiding and I can't find it. There we go. Resize here or scale. Sorry. That uh, puts all of these blocks on it. If you hold down shift, uh, oh no, sorry, you don't need to for this one. Hold down shift, you can make it smaller. So I'm going to command copy that and command V that as well. So now I've got a few domes to play with. It's great. It turns into a bit of a ghost and uh, you can see how much uh, intersection there is by just going like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to dump that one there. Escape, select this one, and then same deal. Just going to intersect it about that much. Great. Zoom out. And that is how I build Super Adobe Domes. It's great if you go to the bottom here, you can actually see the layout. You can see the floor plan um, more accurately. So you can also grab these, say uh, I want to pull them out a bit like that. And I want to balance these a bit more, get them looking a little bit more symmetrical like that. Yep. Zoom back out, back to the orbit tool. There we go. That's how I draw very simple Super Adobe Domes. So you can just get an idea of what things are going to look like. You can um, also now go into here and I really, really like these for some reason. You can go to sketchy edges and click on all these. And you get all these uh, pretty wild, different ways of uh, different ways of looking at it. I just reckon that looks totally awesome. Very simple. If you're not very good at drawing, this is an awesome way to make it look like it's drawn. Um, where are we? There we go. How cool does that look? <laughs> totally rad uh, yeah and that's pretty much it nice little quick video on how I draw very quick 3D models obviously uh, none of these have any details like doors or windows on them or chimneys or skylights or anything like that um, it's just uh, far above my skill I like getting a floor plan drawn um, and then I bring it into here and I just quickly do a um, 3D image so that I can see what it's going to look like. Uh, also shadows is really helpful. I've used this a lot um, to figure out shadowing, which I can outline in another video um, to figure out where the sun's going to go. You can actually position your model exactly where it's going to be in real life. And then you can find out where your shadow goes. So if you want to see some more stuff that I do with it, let me know in the comments and we'll um, endeavor to make another video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.